300 years, humans thought they were alone in the Caprulu sector. They were wrong. The Zerg emerged, seeking to consume all in their path. And before long, the Protoss, a highly advanced alien race, began wiping out infested worlds, burning Zerg and Terran alike. A three-way war, unlike anything humanity had ever faced, erupted almost overnight. All the while, a human civil war raged. Marshal Jim Rayner vowed to oppose the corrupt dictator Arcturus Minx for the betrayal of the woman he loved, Sarah Kerrigan. Ah, uh, boys. How about that evac? Damn you, Arcturus. Don't do this. It's done. Helmsman, signal the fleet and take us out of orbit. Now. Kerrigan. A loyal operative was left to die at the hands of the Zerg. But the Zerg had other plans. They transformed her and unleashed her psionic power upon the Caprulu sector, searching for their real objective, the Protoss homeworld of Ayr. The Protoss were unaware of this danger and slow to respond. Their rulers, the Conclave, had dispatched Executor Artanis to hunt for Tassadar, a commander who had refused to wipe out infested Terran worlds. They crossed paths with a dark Templar mystic, whose kind was considered heretics by the Conclave. Through great effort, Zeratul convinced Tassadar and Artanis that he was not their enemy. Together, they rallied more Protoss from both factions against the Zerg. Despite the Conclave's fury, they achieved significant victories against the Swarm. But when Zeratul struck down one of the Overmind Cerebrates, his own mind was left vulnerable. From his thoughts, the Overmind gleaned Ayr's true location, and the Swarm descended upon the Protoss homeworld with all their might and fury. It was Tassadar who kept the Templar from extinction that day. Using the power of both the Templar and the Dark Templar, he sacrificed himself to kill the Overmind. Ire was lost, but Artanis led the survivors to the Dark Templar's homeworld of Shakuras. Old prejudices were set aside. The Templar were now in the Dark Templar's debt. Without the Overmind, the swarm fractured. Kerrigan sought control of all the Zerg, even enlisting the aid of old friends and enemies like Raynor, Minx, and Zeratul. Once her rule was uncontested, the Queen of Blades betrayed them all. Billions of humans and Protoss were killed. The Zerg stood unchallenged, but to the relief of all, the war seemed to end there. Zeratul suspected the Zerg had fallen under the control of dark forces. He uncovered prophecies stating that an ancient entity, Amon, was attempting to merge Protoss and Zerg lifeforms into an unholy hybrid and that this evil might already have control of Kerrigan and her power. It was during this time that Executor Artanis, hailed as a hero, was made leader of both the Templar and the Dark Templar. As Hierarch, Artanis united both factions and promised to one day reclaim the glory they had lost on Ire. Raynor had vowed to see Kerrigan dead, but his retaliatory strike failed. Even his rebellion against Manx's tyranny proved ineffective against the Dominion's propaganda machine. But with the arrival of old friends and mysterious new allies, Raynor revived his campaign against the Dominion, scoring major victories on multiple fronts. But Zeratul warned him about the encroaching darkness and said the key to stopping Amon was the Queen of Blades. She was needed alive. In a daring raid on the Zerg homeworld of Char, armies from the Dominion and Raynor, with help from Arcturus's son Valerian, used an ancient Zelnaga artifact to neutralize Kerrigan's power and free her from Amon's grasp. The Queen of Blades was helpless. The Dominion wanted her dead. Raynor couldn't allow it. Valerian Minx offered them sanctuary, but his father could not let this opportunity pass. During the raid, Kerrigan and Raynor were separated. Kerrigan escaped, 
while Raynor... He was briefly interrogated and summarily executed. Kerrigan sought vengeance. She set out to reclaim her position as Queen of Blades. With Zeratul's guidance, Kerrigan gathered the Zerg broods and ruled the swarm once again. Only this time, free. The killing will never stop until Minsk is dead. Kerrigan began dismantling the Dominion's military, one mission at a time. To her surprise, she learned that Raynor was still alive. She chartered a course to Korhal, Minx's stronghold. Despite encountering his best troops and traps, she personally ended his life. But there was little time to celebrate. Amon's plans were still unfolding. Kerrigan left Raynor to rebuild while she hunted her true enemy. Raynor and Valerian Minx set about reforming the Dominion with a just government. With the Zerg and Terrans quelled, Hierarch Artanis saw an opportunity. He declared that the unified Protoss, Templar and Dark Templar alike, would retake Ire. Any dissenting voices went unheard amid the hope for reclamation. Zeratul set off alone, searching for the truth, hoping against hope that the Hierarch was not making a terrible mistake.
Templar. At long last, we stand at the threshold of destiny. For today, we will restore the glory of our legacy. Today, we will retake what we have lost and reclaim our homeworld. And may the Kala's light guide us. The invasion fleet stands ready. We await only your command, Hierarch. You must halt this invasion at once. Zeratul? Templar! Arrest this traitor! No! We will hear him out. The end war has come. Amon, the Dark One, has returned. This heretic cannot be trusted. This invasion is a distraction from the true battle ahead. Amon's fury will engulf the entire galaxy. Do not forget that it was his interference that brought ruin to Ayr. And that burden weighs heavily upon me. Artanis, I have found a way to stand against the coming darkness. You must believe me. We have been through much together, Zeratul. But far too many have sacrificed in the hopes that this moment would come to pass. Executor! Commence the invasion! Seems the end war you warned of has begun. Tell me, old friend, what is it you have learned? I have witnessed the end of all things. Horrific legions of hybrid, raising world upon world. In the darkness, lording over them a shadowy form. Amon. Yet, you spoke of a way to stand against him. This vision was a benevolent one, as if an ancient voice called out from beyond. The Keystone shall usher you unto hope. Keystone? I saw a burst of light revealing the Zelnaga artifact on the Terran world of Koral. It is the Keystone of this vision. The prophecies speak of Zelnaga standing against Amon in the end times. I believe this keystone will guide us to them. I have always trusted you, Zeratul, but the burdens of leadership demanded much of me. There are times I am uncertain whether I was truly ready for such weight. Your doubt is unfounded, young Artanis. You must embrace what you have become if you are to be the leader we now need. You will go to James Raynor on Core Hall and receive this keystone. I will marshal our forces for the war ahead. When you return, the Templar will be ready. Entaro Tassadar, old friend. Entaro Artanis, brother.
Zeratul. Smith Carax, I have been looking for you. Artanis, oh, praise the Your gods. Cords. They must be removed. It was done by the Dark Templar. I am free of the Kala's corruption. Are there others? I have saved all that I could. Come, we must escape this world before time runs out. Escape? How? The Spear of Adun still rests beneath the ruins of Kor Shakal. Its generators are ancient, but a phase smith of your ability will know how to bring them online. The Spear of the Doom. I... I am honored to have the opportunity. This is fortune we cannot ignore. Indeed. Come, we must go at once. so that they may serve as this vessel's army. Though it pains me greatly, I have begun severing their nerve cords. The ship's lower decks contain a star forge capable of constructing weapons of war. There is much to learn about this vessel. Its technology is ancient, yet highly advanced. We are aboard a relic from a glorious time when our culture shined as a constellation. The Celestial Array has been updated, Hierarch. From here, you may select our next point of travel. With this vessel, we will avenge what has transpired, Carax. And we will free the Templar.
those of our kind suffer. Separated from the glory of the Kala. Did you know this warrior? No. But I know his story. I know all their stories. None of them ever think it'll end like this. Reports been coming in from all over. Dominion worlds overrun. Outposts destroyed. A lot more dead boys out there. Warriors. Death is the fate of all warriors. A fate we too may soon embrace. Fate ain't written, Artanis. Way I see it, if Zeratul believed you could make a difference in all this, then this fight's just begun. It is your custom to shake the hand of a friend, is it not?
Janice, wait. I am not your enemy. I have come seeking the Zeldog. Fate has drawn us together. You should not attempt it further. Something's not right here. Broken Amon. The firstborn shall fear you no longer. your hybrid facility and turned your servants to my side all that is left is your destruction impudence back you are insignificant in the face of the salvation i bring you will come to ire and die into me, so I have looked into him. His form is almost complete, and now he waits for us to return. He plans to bring the great fleet down upon us. There is a way around this. We have to eliminate the sacred psi matrix that powers ire. 
or we are all doomed. If he intends to use the Golden Armada to stop us from destroying his body, then you are right. Destroying the Psy Matrix is essential. It seems this connection of yours has proved worthwhile. But it is time to free yourself from Amon. Sever yourself from the Kala. I would relinquish all that I know. It is the only way. Unshackle yourself from the past, Rohana, and step into this new age. Brethren, hear me, for there is little time left. All that remains of our race, our civilization, are those that stand beside you now, and those corrupted on the surface below. Our kind once stood as stewards of a galaxy full of promise. In our pride and division, we failed that sacred charge and fell to ruin. The Kala, designed to bring unity, ultimately only aided those divisions. Its hope was a lie. Today, that lie must come to its end. And with it, our prejudice and arrogance must become a thing of the past. For we now fight in the belief that our kind has not seen its end. That we, Protoss, can stand bound by a belief in unity. And that we, Protoss, will forge a great and mighty new civilization. Trust each other in the fight ahead. Strike as one will. Let our last stand burn a memory so bright that we will be known throughout eternity!
Dark One has been banished back into the void. For now, we are free. All of this because of you. I will bring our great dream of a unified Protoss to bear. We will gather the survivors, rebuild our cities. We will reject our old divisions and forge a new society. Together, we will shape our destiny amongst the stars. long enough within this accursed realm. If the Queen of Blades truly wishes to speak, she would be here now. She ain't gonna stand us up, Solendus. If she says it's important, you better believe it is. Trusting this deceiver is not an act I am accustomed to, Commander. Such little faith for a Templar. Artanis. Jim. So what's going on, Sarah? What's so urgent you got us all here for? Amon lives. His hatred festers in the void. And he already plans to return. Even now, I hear a voice calling me. This may be the great enemy's trickery. This voice is not his. There's something else in there. Something tormented and desperate. But it's benevolent. Amon's strength grows by the moment. He may not return during our lives, but he will return. And what is it you suggest we do, Kerrigan? There is a gateway to the Void within Alnar. I intend to go through it and destroy the Fallen One once and for all. I need your help. Sarah's right. We can't kick this can down the road. This burden is ours, like it or not. Zeratul foresaw that this day would come. You have our blades, Kerrigan. Zeratul followed the result of my psionic extension into the minds of primitive beings. You are Zelnaga, the one who called to me. Who are you? Oros, last shepherd of the cycle, enemy of Amon. He is one with the Void. It is an extension of his will, binding me as prisoner. Why have you summoned us here? The cycle must not be broken. The merging of purity of essence and purity of form must continue. You, the one called Kerrigan, 
can merge with my essence. Now, fulfill your destiny. Ascend as Zelnaga. Continue the infinite cycle. Zelnaga? You want to change her into one of you? Oh, damn it. Sarah! No! Only a Zelnaga can defeat the Fallen One. Sarah, you don't gotta do this. You don't have to let yourself be mutilated again. Together, no, Jim. With all I've done, the lives ruined, worlds destroyed, there's blood on my hands. I need to cleanse it. This is my destiny. These moments together, they will always be with me. Darling, I... We have to go now, Jim. like you always said. You know, Matt, someday you're gonna wind up leading this bunch of misfits. I made a deal with the devil, Jimmy. You will hold her life in your hands. You about ready to get out of here, cowboy? 